So I got a pretty good update for you guys on that trail camera I put in a little over a month ago. I called it my deterrent camera, my people catcher. So we're gonna head up there. I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. When you get in here, you'll notice this trail kind of weaves and splits through all this real thick laurel. Now I'm only about 75 yards from the road where I parked. But when you weave through this stuff, and you get through this real thick spot, it opens up into that trail. Weaving in now all this thick stuff. So imagine getting through this, and you come up to a spot, and bam! Look at that. It opens up into this super heavy trail. Scrapes, got rubs. I found this a little over a month ago when I came in and I put in my deterrent trail camera, my people catcher. Because when I walk through this thick laurel and all this thick brush and I came out to this trail, I thought for sure it was human access trail. So I threw that camera up. Here I am a month later. I come back in here to check it. There's two trails like this. They run parallel to each other. And there's track tracks. The last video I posted, I explained to you guys why I put this camera in here. See if there were people or hunters in and out of here. Or is this specifically a game trail? Usually when you have a camera in a spot like this, one of two things happen. Either the camera gets stolen, or it'll deter people away from coming in here. A lot of times people will just back out if they see trail cameras in a specific area because then they'll think it's pressured or think it's being used quite a bit. And that's what I wanted to check. If there's really no humans in here and I've got some pictures of wildlife on this SD card, I'll keep it in here for another month or two and see what comes of it. Oh no, I have a penny stuck. Freaking penny stuck in my SD card reader. There we go. So let's see what we got here. Well, look at there. That was 7.30 a.m. this morning. 3.24.24. Oh, that was 7.30 this morning. All right, so that's a good sign. So the deer's not really bothered by the camera. Oh, that's a weird picture. Oh, okay, I see what's going on behind the tree. Oh, there's two deer in there. Nice. So that one looks like a buck. You can see the bumps on its forehead there. All right, so so far, so good. I didn't see any humans on this camera. All deer, and that's a good sign actually what I was hoping to see. I wasn't 100% sure if this was a human trail because it's a super heavy trail. It's pretty packed down. It's pretty clear. I mean, if somebody wanted this, they could easily just cut this tree down and take it. I've had that happen where people just come in, hack the tree off, grab the camera, and take off. But this is a $50 camera. I'd hate to lose it. Because 50 bucks, 50 bucks, you know. But uh, they really come in handy, especially for places like this. I'd rather use a $50 camera to check access points and trails than have a $200 cell camera in here for somebody to walk off with. I'm a little more relaxed in this situation having a cheap camera here in this spot. Here's a good tip for you when you're using cell cameras. So for me, hunting and scouting the public land where I do, there's not enough consistent cell service to use a cell camera. So if I were to put an expensive cell camera in this area in public land, sometimes it might transmit pictures, sometimes it won't. Depends on the service. But it's always in and out. And there's no way I would trust that if there was a lot of human pressure. So that's kind of why I only use SD trail cameras. I was so happy to see deer on there and not people. Let's go. 
while the deer continue to use this trail, I don't want to leave my scent all over the place. Thing is, if I commit in another month and I have more deer on this camera, I'm going to start finding another way in and stay off of this trail. We'll see how it goes in the next month or two. And if I'm going to hunt this spot, maybe I'll start figuring out where I want to set up. But I'm just not seeing any human sign in here, except for mine and Ron's. Freaking awesome. I'll wait about a month. I'll come back in and check it again. And keep my eye on it. But now, we're going to try to get out of here. Good lord. That's pretty insane because you'd never even know that trail's there unless you stumble upon it and get through all this thick crap. I kind of doubt that over the years I'm the only one that's found it. But hey, doesn't look like it's being used anymore. Haven't seen any human sign. And now we just wait and see.